I have good news. It's taken some time, but... We fulfilled the Dutch shipment. Now, as you know, you first came to me with a request to sample the Dutch chocolate. I was immediately and uh, quite forthright with my dismissal of the suggestion and opted for the Belgian chocolate which is said to be some of the finest, or had been the, some of the finest in the known world. But I respected your insistence, and even though an order from Holland comes with particular challenges, considering the entire country has been inaccessible to civilians, since the ban of sugar. It's a haven for politicians and uh, lobbyists. But, regardless of these challenges, I think you'll find we have delivered tenfold on our obligation. We'll start off the consultation with a quick preview. Of what's to come. And the ornate finish and the decorative box isn't our doing. We didn't manufacture this. Much to our surprise, what we found when we got in to Amsterdam was quite different from the rumours and speculation we heard prior. Before we proceed any further, I said we delivered tenfold on your order. I don't just mean the box. We were actually able to sort. is Advocat. Advocat is traditionally, so the history books tell us, a bright yellow. It's a concoction of brandy, egg, and sugar. 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 along with the sugar ban. Alcohol, of course, went with it. But not in Amsterdam, it seems. I'm going to pour you and I a glass. Sealed for absolute freshness. You cannot know the effort we had to go to to get this. You can keep the vial. The smell alone is enough to land you in prison. Now, as is our tradition, I will sample with you. You notice my drink is denoted with a
small ribbon. The ribbon is actually to uh, signify this is a slightly diluted product. Even we cannot afford to give this away quite so freely. You'll notice that your seal was untouched. Mine's been watered down slightly. This isn't usually shot at, but when in Rome. There's a creaminess, a very sweet undertone. I can't imagine how full bodied your must taste, but that sweetness is just highlighted by the brandy. Really quite magnificent. Mm. Okay, now that we've wet our appetites, let us proceed. Of course, the difficulty, as I mentioned, with getting Dutch chocolate is that, well, it's not meant to exist to begin with. And, uh, it really can't be understated just how difficult it is to get into the country. Amsterdam used to be like prior to the sugar ban. Inside this box we have just a little peek into the inside. Evening opening the box you're met with a wave of rich, intensely sweet Full disclosure, we didn't manufacture this chocolate, if that wasn't painstakingly obvious enough. It comes with a five bar offering, the crispy bite, it's a dark chocolate with a touch of mint. Second point to note. Because of the travel time, and we went through several continents to get you here, I cannot vouch for the finish of the chocolate. It might be slightly discolored might be uh, it's like indents I can't I can't see we opened one packet very briefly to verify its contents we sampled some from the manufacturer and even then he was very very reluctant to give us more than a smell this came at great cost as you can imagine the box itself signifies the 
stance the Dutch take to the sugar ban. We didn't know why we were banned from traveling to Holland until we got there. While chocolatiers aren't on every street corner, it's a well-known secret. But getting into the country and getting out is very, very, very difficult. Now I think it's about time. We got started. We'll begin with the milk and dark. Needless to say, what we're about to sample together is really quite unheard of. individual packet. Even the smell. It's quite remarkable. Before we satisfy our senses, chocolate pastels. Pastel is in the color. A pastel is a small disc. What it means is that instead of having what you and I would call a chocolate bar, we have a series of discs. I would estimate maybe 20 per bar. Now I will open this up. Actually, it's traveled quite well. I'm almost speechless. The milk is a soft velvet, and the dark, it's like a, a rich, most encompassing wave, but then the milk comes back, and there's tr tremendous battle on the palate. That is quite extraordinary. Please. 
try another. Now, of course, as per our service and offering, the box that we're currently consuming is not your box. You'll be presented with an entirely fresh and unopened. than 11 would be a lie. I think we should proceed. Now the next of our offerings and what I am most excited for. my expectations peaked. I'd like to very quickly read the extract that accompanies the packaging. I think now more than ever it is most pertinent. Craftsmanship and passion define our company. So I am always trying to find products these same qualities to share with the people who visit us. This drost chocolate has been made with the same passion and quality standards as our own. That is why this product has been selected. So I would like to say taste and enjoy Henry Willock. The interesting part of this is that Henry Willink selected but didn't create the chocolate. The chocolate is created, created by a company called Trost Holland or Trost Holland. I think we should proceed. Obviously, when we sampled the chocolate, I was able to resist the temptation of sampling a soft bite.
same delivery pastel chocolate beautiful now take a pastel Join me. On the very definition of indulgent. Mm. Three layers, three sensations, each more flavorsome than the last. This is genius. It's beginning to make me quite thankful that Holland is no longer accessible. They might very well put me out of business. Now we offer premium confectionery, as you well know, but this is uh, this is art. Soft, inviting. That's the first way of. The second is the cream. And the third, a little of sweetness. The facial expression conveys more than a thousand words ever good. Because that's the physical response. Magnificent. Really. Okay. Three to go. Now the next offering introduces the only I appreciate confidence. And needless to say, my expectations for this chocolate just got even higher than the last. As before.
is the alternative side of the disc. Please, be the first to try. Interesting. You know I'm nothing if I'm not honest. My immediate comment to this. They should have went dark and white. The milk. Don't get me wrong. Flavor profile is delicious. But it's overpowered by the milk. The milk doesn't have enough flavor, enough depth to come back against the overpowering flavor of the white chocolate. Try again. Hmm. Curiously. Bit the milk chocolate side first, but still, while it's more prevalent, the moment the white chocolate is crushed, entirely dominates the milk. Very interesting, full of flavor, but it should have went milk chocolate. Take a note of that. 50 50 dip on a chocolate pastel. Remarkable. left the mint as the final installment because it's refreshing and lighter at least that's what my expectation would be the penultimate the dark the full bodied let's see what it offers very curious to see just how strong better but 
surprisingly light with the final bite. Even when the pastel touches the tongue and passes past the lips, immediately, very strong, dark cacao. But as it breaks up, it, it doesn't die, but it levels off and declines very, 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 very comfortably. I think we need to try again. Mm. Much beautiful. Something to note. The slight discoloration on the pastel. This is quite common with uh, dark chocolates where the temperature in the room has been altered, especially if it's been higher. During the transit back to where we are, flavor profile should be untouched. Think of it as sun scorching. It has no impact to taste. But certainly, presentation isn't what we would coin quality. Delicious nonetheless. last. But by no means least. Let's try the mint. curious as to how this is going to taste. Dark chocolate. Mm. I'm reminded of a confectionery we very occasionally make called After Eights. We lace the center with a mint fondant. They've accomplished the same here, infusing the chocolate with mint. I don't know how they've done it, but it works. Mm. Try again. For our final pairing, that was a crunch to it. You can heal it. And you can also hear it. Mm. That is really quite incredible. I can tell by the enormous smile on your face that this meant as much to you as it did to us being able to deliver. Needless to say, this was 
it had its hurdles. Getting into Amsterdam itself was costly. Smuggling two boxes back was uh, even more so. The advocate we found while trying to source the chocolate. That's uh, no extra charge. You know that we have a very healthy working relationship. And this is our third meeting. We like to save you money and surprise you where we can. It's been my absolute pleasure box will be wrapped, ready for your collection and reception. I appreciate you may be writing a bit of a sugar high just now, but I assure you that high will last and carry you home, where you can restart the whole process again. It's my pleasure. Whatever you need.